Hello and welcome to the ninth Android video. In this video we're gonna fix the bug that occurs when we exit application. We're also gonna draw the coin and the ground differently and we're gonna change the player's gravity. So let us get started. We're gonna start by fixing this error that comes when we exit application. As you see here, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that by going to endless run game activity. I'm gonna create a new void with the override public void. I'm gonna call it on pass. I'm gonna do a super super dot super dot on pass. We're gonna take game view. Oh sorry we need to create yeah, you need to create a private game view game view. I'm gonna set the game view to a new equal to new game view dot this and set the content to our game view. I'm gonna set game view dot game game loop thread dot running equal to false. I'm gonna have to into our game view and make game loop thread game loop thread default. Remove the private. This is where we can access it from our endless running game activity class. So we should be all right. Game loop thread. running to false. This means we're gonna close down the thread and we're gonna finish our activity. Let's just start and see if this works. So you can see the game is running just fine. We're gonna try and close the game. And no error pops up. So we're gonna try and open it once again. And there we go, we managed to exit the application without returning an error. And now we're going to jump into changing how we draw our coin and our ground. We're going to start by drawing the ground on the actual ground. We're going to do that by, do that by setting the Y, drawing the Y at height, the bottom of the screen, minus its own height. By doing this we're going to have a nice decent ground without, without holes in it. We're also gonna draw our coin a bit different, making it easier to have it where we want it according to, gra to the ground. So we're gonna create a new int, we're gonna call it private int y2. We're actually gonna set our y that we initiated, initiated it with to y2. And in here we're gonna change our y value to y2 plus game view dot get oh sorry game view dot get height so once again we're gonna do minus y2 we're gonna draw this at y plus 32 game dot get height oh and minus the ground minus ground dot height we need to initiate that one I'm gonna call it public static int height this dot height equals to bp dot get height we're just, and we're just gonna check over here yeah the ground is drawn to the ground to the bottom of the screen I mean we're drawing that at the white location and now when we create our coin, if we set the y value to 32, it's gonna go 32 pixels up above the ground. And if we set it to zero, it should be just above the ground. Or no, it won't be actually. Not yet. I'm gonna set it to minus bmp dot get the height of the coin. 
and I believe our phone will draw itself correctly. And then it's only left to change the gravity of the player. And we should have it working again. Properly. As you see now the player is standing above the ground. So we're just gonna change that. See? The first coin is drawn just above the ground, so it fits perfectly. To, it just hits the ground at the bottom. And the second coin is drawn for the two pieces above the ground. And now we're gonna change our player at the gravity. We're gonna minus ground at height. Minus player height, this means that where the gravity the player should be at the ground is the board of the screen minus the height of the ground minus our own player height the beam B, the image height this means that he's just gonna stand right above the ground as he did before I'm just gonna copy it in everywhere here I'm gonna keep the v-speed in our if statement Minus ground height. Uh, so there we go. Let's see if it works. There we go. That was all for this video. I hope you followed it. It went quite fast, but I hope you managed to understand what they did. In the next tutorial we're gonna create more coins by actually making a so-called step beam I'm gonna call it, or time maybe. For example every 30 seconds we're gonna create 3 coins in a row, or maybe 4, and we're gonna make it random. So stay tuned for the next video, it's probably gonna come up, come up in the next days. Please subscribe and like the videos, check out my brother's channel if you like WoW and League of Titans. Feedback is always welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.